guys, it's Jessie. Welcome to my channel. So today I thought I'd do something I haven't done before, uh, but I've seen a lot of YouTubers do and I love it. So I'm really excited that I'm finally filming one of these. Since this is going to be more of a talk through instead of a makeup tutorial, I decided to switch locations and sit over here on my day bed in my beauty room instead of at my vanity. So for the past month or so, I've been collecting all my empty containers in the Sephora bag. I have quite a few. Uh, this is mostly slash all skincare items. I tend to go through skincare items a lot faster than makeup. I think part of it has to do with skincare you apply day and night. So like for moisturizer, I'm using moisturizer two, sometimes maybe even three times a day. So it just goes through quicker. So basically my plan here is to go through each item that I finished with and tell you if I liked it or not and if I plan on repurchasing it or not. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I have an empty Beauty Blender solid. This is the Beauty Blender soap. I am completely obsessed with this stuff. I think this is already my third or fourth one. I hate cleaning my makeup brushes. I don't know anyone who enjoys cleaning their makeup brushes. It's a hassle, it takes a long time, it's just a pain in the butt. Uh, but this makes it super easy. Pretty much all you have to do is get the soap wet, wet your brush, swirl it around in the soap. Then I like to swirl it around in my hand just to give it a deeper clean. Rinse off your brush and let it dry. And I find that in one pass with this, it gets clean. I used to use the Purity Cleanser by Philosophy to wash my brushes and I just found it took a lot more times of doing that process to actually get all the makeup and gunk out of there. And if there's anything worse than cleaning your makeup brushes once, it's having to go back and clean them like two or three times, that's even crazier. So I will definitely be repurchasing this. I've already purchased the replacement for this one. And I will probably be repurchasing this until another item comes out that I like more to clean brushes. Next, I have the Peter Thomas Roth Anti-Aging Cleansing Gel. I use a lot of Peter Thomas Roth products because I feel like they're really high quality, but they're not super crazy expensive, which I am a fan of because I'm really cheap. So I originally got this because one of the ladies at Sephora recommended it. It's an oil-free anti-wrinkle technology, clarifies and brightens with glycolic acid, salicylic acid, citric acid, with extracts of peach, white oak bark, lemon, lime, linden, grapefruit and arginine for all skin types except sensitive. Now my skin isn't super sensitive, but it is a little bit sensitive. Um, and this works fine for me. I like using it with my Clarisonic and it makes my skin feel very clean. And if you watched my Sephora VIB sale haul, you know that I have already repurchased this. Next up, I have the Mario Badescu Botanical Exfoliating Scrub. I am absolutely obsessed with this. I think this is one of my favorite exfoliating scrubs that I've ever used. I have tried out a whole bunch of them. I've used the Peter Thomas Roth Strawberry Enzyme Exfoliator. I've used some other ones that you'll see later on in this video, but this is, I think, my absolute favorite. So this says, the finely ground seeds of the Ecuadorian ivory palm provide effective yet gentle exfoliation to remove dead skin cells. Antioxidant rich ginger, ginkgo, and green tea extracts are blended with moisturizing coconut and aloe, leaving behind softer, younger looking skin. So it's really crazy when you put this on, it feels like really goopy. And I think it's the aloe in it that makes it, it has that like aloe feel and it feels just like really like jelly and goopy. And you put it on and you're sort of like, what is going on? And there's these little beads in there that are also exfoliating while that's happening. But then when you wash it away, your skin is just so soft and I live for that. I ran out of this a couple weeks ago and I have already repurchased it and I have been loving it. My next item is also by Mario Badescu. This is the facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. I'm not sure why I originally bought this. I think I just wanted something like light and refreshing as a facial spray, but actually I ended up using it mostly on my hair to spray on my hair to give it a little like nice scent and hydration. This is a nice product, there's nothing wrong with it, but I don't think I'll be repurchasing it because I don't really feel like it served a major purpose in my life, but it definitely was a nice product. Okay, my next two products are the Ole Henriksen Truth Serum Collagen Booster and the Ole Henriksen Sheer Transformation Moisturizer. These two came in a set with the Night Serum also. Um, I had gotten the Truth Serum before and run out of it and went back to the store to get more. That's why I got the set because just this by itself is almost as much as the set of three. So first my thoughts on the Truth Serum. I think this is a really nice serum. There's nothing wrong with it. 
Um, I'm not sure that I will be repurchasing it again because right now I'm really liking the Belief Hungarian Water Essence Serum. I find that to be really hydrating. Hank, Hank's barking at our neighbor who's doing yard work in his own yard, minding his own business. So anyway, I do really like this, but I think I'm gonna try some other products for a while. I may end up coming back to it, who knows? Um, and then the Sheer Transformation Moisturizer. This is a really, it is a really nice moisturizer. I really do like it. Like it says, it is really sheer. It feels really good on your skin. Um, but once again, moisturizer is one of those things that I usually keep a bunch of around, a bunch of different ones, and I'm always reaching for different ones. And so I'm not really sure that I like this one more than any of the others that I have been using lately, so I probably will not be repurchasing it. Okay, next I have the Ole Henriksen Pore Balance Facial Sauna Scrub. So I'm pretty sure I got this during the VIB sale also, and I have to be honest, I ran out of it like two weeks later, which was so disappointing. That is one of the most disappointing things to me, is going through something that's expensive I looked it up on the Sephora website and this is $28, which I don't think is massively expensive. I think that's pretty reasonable for a sauna scrub, but I literally went through this entire thing in like two weeks. So usually for any kind of mud scrub or exfoliator or whatever, I use like a little tiny amount and it lathers on my face and it's fine. This one I had to squeeze out so much product uh, to get it to cover my face that I feel like I went through it super fast. All in all, it wasn't a bad product. I liked it, it was fine, uh, but I will not be repurchasing it. I just feel like there are other products that do the same thing and uh, last a little longer. Then I have the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Cream. I've been talking about this for a while, um, and then I got the sample in my Play by Sephora a couple months ago, and I was really excited because I got to test it out. I really did love this moisturizer. I thought it felt amazing on my skin. But to be honest, I can't really justify spending almost $70 on moisturizer. I just think that's a little crazy. It is back in stock now. I saw it uh, in my Sephora store that it was back in stock. And I've really gone back and forth whether or not I wanted to buy it or not because it is super hydrating. It feels just like water on your skin, but like even better water. It's a fantastic product. And if it's in your budget, I say go for it. But for me, I'm just not looking to spend that much money on a moisturizer right now. And finally, I have the Kirkland Signature Daily Facial Towelettes. These are my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite makeup remover wipes. I use the Neutrogena wipes for years. And the Neutrogena wipes, I think, are usually about $6 for one little pack of them. Uh, these, you get like, I think it's six packs for like eight or nine dollars. It's insane, the price is just absolutely ridiculous and I actually even like them more than the Neutrogena wipes. A lot of wipes that I've tried out are too dry. These stay so nice and wet. These stay nice and wet and get your makeup off so easily without leaving your skin oily or anything funky with your skin. I think they're great on all skin types. Like I said before, my skin is a little bit sensitive and these are fine. Uh, so I could not recommend these more, especially at the price and especially because I absolutely love Costco. So anything that comes from Costco that I love, I'm super happy about. Okay, and that wraps it up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.